let's talk about diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of ions or molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. It can also be described as things moving down their chemical gradients or their concentration gradients. One thing I do want to highlight at the outset here is that diffusion is always a passive process. It does not require energy. So in this next slide, we see a high concentration of sodium in the upper left-hand corner and a lower concentration of sodium in the lower right-hand corner, I guess higher concentration of sodium in the upper left-hand corner. I think I said lower. But sodium is going to move to areas of lower sodium concentration. Once again, I want to point out that those brackets around Na plus are suggesting concentration. And that's really important because we're not just concerned about the amount of sodium ions. We are more interested in the amount of sodium ions in relation to the volume of water, the amount of solute versus the solvent. This applies to molecules as well. If we look at glucose right here, high concentration of glucose in one region, a lower concentration of glucose in another region, glucose will diffuse from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration passively, down its chemical gradient, down its concentration gradient. Intimately related to diffusion is the concept of osmosis. And osmosis can be challenging for people to wrap their heads around, maybe because of the term, but it is nothing more than diffusion of water molecules. So osmosis is specifically diffusion for water molecules. So if we look at this first definition for osmosis, osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules. It is the movement of water molecules from an area of high molecular water concentration to an area of low molecular water concentration. We can also define it in alternative way. And that is the movements of water molecules from an area of a low solute concentration to an area of high solute concentration. This is really just the other side of the same coin of the previous definition. That is to say, if there is a region of low solute concentration, that means there's in that specific region, there will be a high molecular water concentration. And the area that has high solute concentration by corollary is gonna have a low molecular water concentration. This is why sometimes when people are talking about osmosis, they use the term solute suck because water is going to be sucked or drawn to the area of higher solute concentration. I think the single best definition of osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane. And that semi-permeable membrane is pretty significant. So let's take a look at some slides to illustrate this. And all of these slides, what we're going to have are 20 water molecules on the left side of that membrane. The membrane's a pink dotted line down the middle here. 20 water molecules on the left, 10 water molecules on the right. And in orange in all of these subsequent slides will be the solute. It doesn't matter what the solute is. They could be sodium ions, they could be potassium ions, they could be glucose, and they could be a mix of all of them. It doesn't matter what the solutes are. So in this case right here, we have a ratio of 8 to 20 solutes to solvent on the left and 4 to 10 on the right. That is the same ratio as 2 to 5. As you can see on the left, there are more solutes than there are on the right. But because there are more water molecules on the left, the ratio is the same as on the right. So there would be no net movement of water in this depiction. If we look at this next one right here, 4 to 20 versus 4 to 10. And as we can see here, the arrow is moving to the right because there is a greater concentration of solutes on the right side. Even though there's the same amount of solutes on the left and right of four, there's a greater concentration of solutes on the right, which means there's a lower concentration of water on the right. So water's gonna move from an area of high molecular water concentration 
to the right where there is a lower molecular water concentration. That is osmosis. Let's take a look at this one right here, which is more challenging just because the numbers are not as easy to work with. We have a ratio of 7 to 20 on the left and 3 to 10 on the right. 7 to 20 is a higher concentration of solutes than 3 to 10. As a result, we would expect water to move to the left. In this depiction right here, we have the ratio of 4 20 to 2 to 10, which is the exact same ratio. One thing I also want to highlight again is that we do not have the same amount of solutes on each side. There's four solutes on the left, two solutes on the right, but it is the same ratio, 2 to 10 versus 4 to 20. That is diffusion and osmosis. We will continue to talk about this. Enjoy your day.